going everyone welcome back to another our extravaganza video sorry for my voice i've been a little under the weather lately it's been it's been a kind of a rough week for me but um welcome back to another extravaganza video this video i really did goof up on that's why you are not going to see a lot of stuff so let me first uh, introduce the collective and I'll tell you what happened. So, um, if you don't know what Arstravaganza is, Arstravaganza is a YouTube collective here and it was created by the JMI Creations and it contains members such as myself, Nyra Busby, Lynn Doodles, Amanda Elise, and our newest member, um, Illustration with Evie. Um, and so we're starting a new event this summer um which we do every summer and so today's theme is more of a fashion era theme so we were to pick an era of our choice either our favorite era or a fair era we wanted to do um and illustrate a fashion um i guess the type of fashion that was within that era so i chose the 70s because i love the 70s. I should have been born in the 70s. I feel like I'm an old soul. But, um, yeah, I chose the 70s because I am very in love with, like, the counterculture era and, you know, the flower children and the hippie era and Woodstock and all of that stuff. So I was really excited to do that and also the patterns. I've done a lot of, like, hippie characters and 70s stuff in the past. But I really wanted to try something different, like solely go for the fashion that was within that era. So I decided to pick um, kind of both what men and women would wear, which I also wanted to keep the concept similar because the concept of the counterculture was to go against society at that time and society's standards were, you know, women wore skirts and dresses while men wore business attire and pants. So for this one is kind of backwards um what I illustrated. Like the girl is wearing pants and the guy is wearing shorts. Um but then has still has that look, you know, the girl still has a little bit of girliness with the top and the man the man does some have this this have some kind of um business attire with the shirt so and then I kind of switched it up put kind of I kind of want to make them like twinning so I used the sunflower to express and symbolize the flower children during that era and of course how to put them some hippie patterns in there so I chose um putting kind of the guy wearing the pattern on his shirt and then the guy and the girl wearing the pattern on her pants. So that's basically it. That was basically my thinking. So what I had goofed up was I was doing this digitally, obviously. And um I guess I didn't really have a lot of store up disc available. I don't know why I thought I deleted all of my videos I guess I didn't and it didn't alert me the way it is supposed to like it was like more like a little pop-up but I'm working on a Cintiq so it didn't pop up on my Cintiq it popped up on my laptop which was hidden behind you know so many rows of you know my finder and my web pages and stuff like that so I didn't see it so the whole time, I, I, I legit think this took me like a good two and a half hours to make. So the whole time I thought I had a good two hour and a half footage, I only got the first 12 minutes. So now you only get to see the first 12 minutes. I'm so sorry. You only get to see some sucky line art. But yeah, I have to like hurry up because I really, I, I really can't talk that, that much because I don't have enough footage to talk. But um, yeah. In the end, you'll see the final product. It was, yeah, it was, <laughs> I was having a tough week and this just kind of, you know, you know. But anyways, 
I hope you liked the video. Um, please go check out everybody else's pieces. They all did different eras, such as like the 50s, 80s, 30s, 20s. And so if you like those kinds of different eras and their fashion, please go check out everybody else's interpretation. And um, I will see you guys in the next video of whatever I make. I love you guys so, so much. And I promise, I promise not to goof up so, so bad next time. Okay. I love you guys. Bye.